creating an original song, part 20. Today is a good day because we have made it officially halfway through the bridge. As soon as I have completed this draft of the score, I am going to immediately send it off to musicians to see exactly how feasible some of this stuff is. For example, the violin goes up into the stratosphere here um, to the point where this program doesn't even have a sound recorded to play it. And it's just a lot of really fast things happening um, coming off of other really fast things that preceded it for pages and pages and pages. I don't know. I have a feeling that this is going to be quite a workout for humans. Or I could just be grossly underestimating the power of trained musicians, man. I hope that's the case. Anyway, the first half of the bridge. As I mentioned in a previous video, my goal was to treat the bridge as like a little sort of mini development section. So basically what I did was I took a bunch of musical lines that I had written previously and that appear earlier in this song, and I mashed them all together, turned a lot of them upside down and kind of let things happen. As the sort of anchor point of this section, we have the piano playing two different rough inversions of previous material. The right hand is going to be playing what the violin and cello play in the pre-chorus upside down, and the left hand is playing an inverted and augmented version of the piano ostinato that permeates this whole thing. Sounding... <laughs> On top of that, I have the French horn playing an inversion of what the cello played in the second verse. A rough inversion, not a perfect one, but that sounds like... And then on top of all that, I have a little duet going on between the cello and the violin. Unfortunately, a piece of the violin part will not sound. I'll try to sing it when it pops up a couple of octaves lower than what I have it written for. At any rate, it sounds, as played by the computer, like... <laughs> And then on top of that, there shall be a percussion line and a vocal line. And that's it. That's the first half of the bridge in drips and drabs. And now we move on to the second half of the bridge, which has to rise up from the depths that I have left the first half of the bridge off in. And it has to build and build and build up to the final chorus. And what I'm going to attempt to do to build this thing up to a breaking point is a little tiny, teeny tiny little fugue-like thing. And then once that is done, all we have to do is notate the final chorus, which is mostly going to be a copy and paste party. And then we have to orchestrate the outro, which um, I hope will be very quick. It's just eight bars and it should be, it, the instruments will be dying away, so it should be pretty simple. And then we send this off to musicians and then uh, probably take a red pen to a lot of this. But that's that. It's coming along. I'm 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 good. I'm I'm happy. I'm happy with this rough draft. And that's that for now. Until next time.